Hi, my name is Cindy Rang. And my name is Eliza Rang. And today we're going to do Kumihimo. My daughter and I have owned and operated a busy quilt shop in Washington State for over 20 years. We have a retreat center, an active YouTube channel, and a large pattern line featuring our creations. My two sons work on machines. One daughter-in-law is our videographer and the other is a long-arm quilter. We are a family that love each other, we laugh together, and every once in a while we get some work done. We have a crew that are saints for their efforts at keeping us on track. Thanks for joining us on our wild ride. Okay, so uh, today we're gonna do kumihimo, and that is weaving. And so it's a really simple thing. You don't need a lot of tools. We'll show you at the end if you really like to do it. There's a foam disc that you can buy and we sell them. And, um, but we're gonna make our own. So if you've purchased the kit from us, this is what you have. You have seven um, hanks or skeins of DMC floss in there in variety of colors. Yours may or may not be these exact colors. And then you also have some instructions. If you did not buy the kit from us, this is in a download for you. So Brianna has put it on there and it's two pages. So the first page kind of explains that you really have to watch us because we don't really know how to, um, I can't really explain it. We're gonna show you how to do it. The other thing that's on here is we're going to demonstrate this first one and these are just other ways that you can line up your thread to be able to do and you'll see that in a second. And then there's a bonus one that we're gonna show you at the end. But what we need to know about first is how to make your discs. So those of you that have the kit from us, you're actually going to have to make a copy of this page. But if you're printing them off, you have two separate pages, which will be really good. Because what we're going to do is we're going to um, glue this to a piece of cardboard and cut it out. So we're going to go do that first and then we'll be right back. All right, so what we did is we just found a box, a lid from a box, and I went ahead and cut out about a seven inch square, and I've glued your, maybe a clock face, to the front of it, and now Eliza's gonna cut out. So just cut out on the circle. And um, what we're actually doing is, I'll tell you while you're cutting, is um, we're gonna do kind of a little weaving thing. And so we're going to make a friendship bracelet. It doesn't have to be just a friendship bracelet. It really could be um, a keychain. It could be a necklace. It could be a belt. It just sort of depends on how long you want to make it. And it's something that's kind of fun to do. Can you get that started? Is that too hard to cut? Yes. Let me help you. Let me tell you another little trick is that if I would have had a six inch round from a um, a cake round, um, you know when you're baking cakes and you mm -hmm. do layered cakes, it's a little cardboard six inch cutout, that's really what you need. But we get so many boxes that this seems like this is a pretty easy thing. The other thing is that um, if you like doing this, this is called um, kumihimo and they make a little loom. Um, they're probably, I don't know, six or seven dollars. They're made out of foam. And you can purchase one because these will last. Uh, what we'll do is um, we'll put all of the thread down and they last probably hmm, five or six times. Hmm. So then what happens is once we've cut out the circle, see how there's little lines there? Yeah. And so you're just going to go ahead and cut, I don't know. I think I if, you cut, if you cut extra, it won't matter. What the loom is doing is the loom is just going to hold the threads in place while she's doing the braiding and the weaving. So um, they last long enough that, um, you know, it's, you're not really rough on them, but. And the accuracy that you cut out your circle, the depth that you cut the little slash marks, none of that is really going to matter at all. Again, it's just a placeholder for the weaving, so the rest of it doesn't really matter. 
That's why if you don't really want to invest the seven to, I don't know, six, seven dollars in a loom, you really don't need to. You can make your own again and again. You can make different shapes. So what this is, if you look at this, is that there is a mark on the top and the bottom, the side, the side, diagonal, 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 diagonal. and then one extra one right in between, right? Yep. So there's a total of 16 different marks. So this is the hard part is we also have to put a hole through the center. And this is something where with those scissors, you know, you, you probably want to make sure that somebody bigger. Oops is doing that part because we don't want to stab anybody's finger. Mm -mm. There are lots and lots and lots of different patterns and ways to be able to do it. I'm going to show you two today that are going to be kind of fun. So the first one we're going to do is I want you to start by picking two different colors. What are your two favorites? These two. Those two. Okay. So we're going to open these up. And, and the way that you open these up is we're going to pull off one and put one, move one over into the center. All right. Is and typically what I, one? yeah, it's okay. I usually pull off the little one because the big one tells us the color number, but we don't really care about that. It's just pink, so it doesn't make any difference. No. So, yeah. And then we find one of the little ends here. Mine's right here. We'll spin Have an end. Okay. And so pull it. And pull it a second time. And then we're going to cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Okay. And we're going to do that. We need four of each color. Okay. Okay, There's so now what eight we're pieces eight total. pieces total. That's exactly right. So we've got four purple, so we'll get all those ends together. So put all of your ends together. And then put your pink ends together. I'm gonna have to set that down right on my lap. Yeah. Like right the left. I'll let you do it. And if for some reason they're not all the same length, that doesn't matter either. None of it matters. The other thing is that um, we've put in, um, this is just regular embroidery floss, but you could use yarn. You could use all kinds of things. Okay, so you have all eight of your ends are together. And so if all eight of your ends are together, mm -hmm. now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tie a little knot. I do not know what we're doing. I do not know what we're doing. We're making something pink and purple. Okay, so we have a little knot. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put this knot right, down right into the center. And then I'm going to show you how to do it, and then I'm going to have you do it. So I have my knot is in the center here, and I'm just going to kind of hold it so that the knot doesn't come back up through. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a, piece a purple one. And they're all going to be in pairs. So this purple and another purple Go. is going to be together at the top. And then Two purples this are going purple. To be at the exa together. Exactly. These two purples are going to be at the bottom and the bottom. And see how that's kind of tight? And, and now then. That, now it shouldn't come through. And now can you guess where these are going to go? Sides. Sides. That's exactly right. And so this pink one's going to go here and here. Okay. That's okay. And one there. All right. So we have it set up like that. So, so it does. It looks like a dream catcher. Or a jellyfish. Or a jellyfish. Yeah. Okay. So we've got two up, two down, two to the side. Two to the other side. So now, so we're gonna take our chocolate. right hand. <laughs> okay. We're gonna take this one. This is on the right side, mm -hmm. and we're going to put it 
all the way around to the right side. We made a chicken leg. Okay. <laughs> now we're going to take our left hand, we're going to start at the bottom, and we're going to bring it all the way up to the left side. And that. That's it. Now we're going to turn it. And we're going to do it with the pink ones. Yes. We're going to take the right side, um, put it on the right side. And make a chicken leg. Left, make a chicken leg. Left side. Take apart the chicken Goes up leg. to the left side. It's starting to make a bigger knot. It's starting to make a bigger knot. And so what's going to happen is you're just going to keep doing that. The right side goes to the right side. Left side. Goes to the left, left side. side. And you turn it. And you're just going to keep doing it. So now you're at pink. So now it's kind of hard. And so you're going to start at the top of the right. So start up here. And I might have pulled it in there a little too far. So bring it down, put it in there just a little ways. And now your left side. And also it's tight because we just made it. The more that you um, mess with it, the looser those you're going to get. And it doesn't matter if you turn it back and forth, if you turn it to the left or the right, it won't matter. Yep. You do, as long as you do right, right, left, left. left. Okay, you just did the pink. And see, oh, can you perfect. tell how you did the pink? Let me show you a little trick, and let's show this up close so that your mom can see it. Can you tell how you just did the last one? Yes. Because the pink's on the top, right? Yep. Let's hold that up there. So you can see that the last color that we did was the pink, because if you look at that, you can see that the pink thread or yarn is on the top, right? Yes. You can also see that the pink should be a little bit farther apart and the pink is closer yes. together. So if you sit this down to go eat or to eat your left Twix, you'll know where you left off because see that? The pink is on the top and the pink is on the top. Yes. So now you know that it's time. And you want to also, as you go, make sure things are not super tangled. Okay, so now it's purple. Right, right, yep. and then hold it with your right hand. And now left. 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 And turn it. Pink. Pink with your right hand. And with your left hand. Pink. Pink. And turn it. And you can tell. It's starting to make something. Yeah, and see, so you can see that. You can see that that was the last one we did because it's on the top. Right, right. Just pull it out. starts to get way easier mm -hmm. once you get the hang of it in. Right. And the only thing that you're wanting to do, so you're going to keep doing this. This is going to take you a little while. So this is going to take you a little while. All you need to do is just not get mixed up about where you were and not let all of these get tangled. And you're going to go until this thread is, until there's just a couple inches at the top. And you can see right where you've left off if you have to stop for a minute because again, that's the color right that's on, on the top. top is the last one that you did. And here in a minute, we'll be able to show... Oh, see, I can see it, but... See that in there? We'll show your mom when we have enough to show her. So we'll let you just keep doing that. So, right hand. Right hand.
Okay, Eliza has been working pretty hard on this, and so here is her little braid. And every once in a while, if we end up, you know, as you're doing it, um, let's do a little demonstration, Eliza. So again, you're doing right, 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 left, left, holding on with your left hand. And I think, Eliza, what happens sometimes? Sometimes I think we were we were going down and then this one I think what happened was you came over this way you forgot to do left hand and so it doesn't matter um, all that happens is every once in a while the pattern just changes just a tiny tiny bit but it doesn't make any difference it doesn't it doesn't really matter it's still pretty it's still beautiful right so it doesn't make any difference so there's no reason to rip anything out there's no reason to start over because it's just beautiful so then what you do when you're done and when you're done, when you feel like it's long enough or when your thread, if you have a thread that is um, just a little bit too short to keep going. So then what happens is you take it off and you just have to knot that side. And to knot that side, you're going to do it the same way as when we started. Just super simple. We're just going to pull through here and keep that kind of loose until we get to the end. And... See, we'll get down to the. Oh, I don't want the. We don't want the. No, I don't want the. Pretty part. No, I just want the. There we go. I think about there, right? And then just tighten it, and then you are exactly right. And just. And I would cut it a little long at first just to kind of see what you want, and then we can come at this end. And let's clean up that side. And that's it. This is just garbage. And then there you have it. Oh, let's tie it on. And you can just tie it on. You can also be all kinds of fancy and put a clasp on it if you want to, but I don't feel like that's necessary. And then you can decide if you think that you wanted it to be a little bit longer for ties, you know, to be able to tie it on. But anyway, so there it is. So this is your first one. And I want to show you, beautiful job, by the way, gorgeous. I want to show you how to do another pattern. And I want you to see, so after doing one, so um, it's a little, you know, it's starting to get a little worn, yeah. which I think is all right. Um, that's why we're going to show them. We're going to use this one more time, and then we're going to show them the purchased one. Um, but I think that you can keep using this, and you can make a couple of them, because this mm -hmm. is just a piece of paper and a leftover piece of cardboard. So this is pretty inexpensive and kind of nice to use, but we'll show after a second one um, if the, this gets a little bit more worn. All right, so we're gonna do another one, and there's lots and lots of different patterns for this. That's the other nice thing, is that if they decide to purchase the foam one, mm -hmm. it comes with a little booklet that mm -hmm. shows um, different do patterns to do. All right, so this was the stash of thread that I put in the kit, and so there's seven colors, and so there's seven strands here. In any order, doesn't really make any difference. There's seven yeah. of them, they're about 24 inches long, we're going to start the exact same way. And again, this is um, embroidery floss, but you can use yarn, you can use jute, you can use uh, rat tail, you can use anything you want. We're going to pull this in the bottom. And then now what we're going to do is, do you see that eight of them? Yeah. Let's show this for a second. Eight of these are um, long lines. And then the other eight, the opposite eight, are short lines. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this, and again, when we have the knot down here, we just sort of hold it to make sure that we can pull this fairly tight. And all we're going to do is we're going to put one of these in each of the eight long, um, ones. long ones. I think you've got a shadow over it, Eliza. It already looks pretty. Mm hmm But we just have one less than eight. Okay. Because we still have one right there. That's right. So there's one that doesn't have one in there. So I think the first time what we talked about was right and left. Yes. Right and left. So this time the magic thing is three. Three. Okay? Mm -hmm. 
So what we're going to do is the magic number is three, so our empty one is towards us, and we're going to count three. One, two, three. Oops. Put it in the empty one. Turn it. One, two, three. Put it in the empty one. Put it in the empty one. Turn it. One, two, three. Turn it. So this is always towards me. One, two, three. Turn it so this is towards me. One, two, three. And just keep going. It's all about threes. Turn it. And then we'll just, same thing. We'll just kind of keep that down there and you'll see in a minute what it's going to look like. You just have to get a little bit on there. All right. So this one is all about threes. So this is towards you. Three, yep. Yeah. And you're still going to do the same thing, and just every once in a while make sure that nothing is tangled. One, two, three. Yep. Yeah. This one Orion could do. He could practice his counting. One, two, three. Yep. Yeah. Okay, it's gonna be exciting to see what this one looks like. Yes, it is. It, oh, it's still it's a jellyfish. Like it. It's still a jellyfish. Okay, so I just want to show you a couple things. So Eliza has done three of her Kumihimo bracelets, and I just want to show you that it's a little worse for the wear. It, it's not a big deal. It's just paper, paper glue and a little leftover piece of cardboard. So the truth is you can just keep making and making and making them. If you don't like the idea of this, this is what the Kumihimo wheel is. It looks like this, and it's made out of foam. It has numbers on it so you don't lose track. And it's, I think it's like 10 bucks. I think it's $9.99. You get the wheel, you get some floss, you get even some hemp rope, and then you also get a book. So it's a really nice little product. And um, I also wanted to show you that this one was her first one. And you can see that there was a couple times where she got a little bit um, lost on what she was doing, but it totally doesn't matter. It's adorable anyway. You can see her second one, you know, much better in terms of that pattern and that design, and she only lost her way a couple times, and you'd have to really look to be able to see where there's a thread that's out of order. This is her third one. Her third one she did actually with yarn, and look how interesting it is that it's just such a different size, and you can see how you can kind of play with those with your threads just a little bit. That's what's nice about this is that with numbers you sort of know what you're doing and I think that that you know this one we did put a long and a short one but there's lots of different options. We've included again the multiple patterns but what's fun about this is it gives you even more patterns. This is one I just want to mention she's making this for her dad, her um, uh, navy dad and he just wanted this little camo color for his keychain so isn't that kind of cute. Um, the other thing that we had, and I just want to show you this, and this is on the website now, there is a book. Um, so if somebody really likes all of this, there is a book. And this is more weaving. It's not the same. It's not the Kumihimo. Um, but, uh, and there is a little um, weight weaving loom. So these are some other options if you're looking for a gift for somebody. Again, Eliza is seven. And she did a fantastic job with it. But um, Brittany, who is 29, uh, also thought it was pretty fun. And I think she's even played with it. So have fun. Thank you for watching our video. We invite you to leave a comment, hit the like button, or better yet, subscribe to our channel so you never miss an episode. You can also visit our Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Pinterest pages, or find all of those things and our online store at fabricpatch.net.